Hi everybody. I had a question from somebody from a newsletter that I sent out um, asking about what is the best calf exercise. Um, there's a lot of good calf exercises out there, but if you're short like I am, some of the machines don't really fit you that well. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite ones and also with a little trick that I learned from somebody that had the biggest, hardest calves I've ever seen. His name was Roger Stewart, and he was a bodybuilder in Florida. Um, amateur, I don't know if he ever turned pro, but um, he had the biggest legs, quads, and calves, and he was known, he was known for his legs, but especially his calves. He's been on some of the covers of some of the magazines out there, Flex and Muscle and Fitness and stuff, and um, it, this is a little trick that I learned from him um, on how to make your calves grow, because I used to have really small, stubborn calves, and they've actually gotten pretty good over the years. Um, I also think plyometrics, the last year I've been doing a lot of plyometrics too, and um, plyometrics help your calves a lot more than you would think, but if you really think about it, you're jumping, so you're springing up from your lower body and your calves. So for me, my favorites are, are the plyometrics and um, this one calf exercise I'm going to show you. It's just a body weight exercise. You can hold a weight in your hand, but it's a single leg calf raise. These are single leg calf raises and these are my favorite because most of the standing calf machines are set too high and um, they bottom out before I get a good stretch. And right here I'm doing um, even pressure across um, my foot, um, from the ball of my foot to the outside of my foot. This hits kind of the whole calf. And you want to make sure you hold the weight on the same side that you're doing. Right now I'm shifting to pushing up towards um, the inside. I'm using the ball of my foot and trying to focus on the inside of my calf here. So most of my weight is over to the ball of my foot. And here I'm shifting. I'm going to work more of the outer calf, so I'm pushing up and out. And I have a slight bend in my knee, which you can't tell from this angle, but I'll show you in just a second. But you can hit your calf in a lot of different ways. And here um, you can see the slight bend in my knee. You get a totally different stretch and a much better contraction doing this. And to me it feels like you're working both the gastrocnemius and the soleus of the calf muscle. Um, it just seems like a more complete um, workout. And you can do this with a standing calf machine too using single leg or both legs. I'm just showing you with a dumbbell um, or, or a plate. You can hold a dumbbell or a plate. Okay, here I'm showing you what not to do. Here I'm bending my knee too much and using part of my quad too. You want to make sure that the knee stays locked in place when it's bent and you're just rotating from the ankle. And here's another example of bad where you're just pushing too far forward. You're not really pushing up as much as you should. So you want to push forward and up at the same time. That's a good one there. And this is an example of um, still too far forward. And here we are from the back again, doing the other side. Notice I have the weight on the same side that I'm working. And here my weight was um, even across the bottom of my foot. Now I'm switching to the inside of my calf. So I'm pushing up on the ball of my foot to hit the, the inside part. All my weight shifted to the inside of my foot to hit the inside of my calf. And now I'm pushing up and out more towards the outside of my foot, so I hit the outside of my calf. And so you can hit your calves from all angles, and the secret that I learned from Roger is that slight bend in your knee.